time for another series wrap up. Do I have these in order? No, I don't. This is me, Alice Quagger, and today I have my series wrap up for the, um, what are these called? Oh yeah, the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children trilogy. And what if you do not know how I do my series wrap up is what I do is I give like my last thoughts on the series, also known as what I can remember, because depending on how long ago I read the first or the second or how, whatever number the book is, I will give my um, honest opinion about them and my last and final opinion on them. I will also be linking down below all the book reviews I gave for the books so you can go ahead and watch them and like Miss Peregrine, I think Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children was like one of the very first books I ever reviewed for this channel so expect some cringy Gillian so. So yeah, the first book within this trilogy, which starts it off, is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. And essentially, this is about a boy named Jacob and his grandpa uh, dies very suddenly. And Jacob has been growing up on these tales or these stories that his grandpa has been telling him for quite some time now. And what happens is that he dies and Jacob wants to find out but he doesn't think it's from natural causes and, or like a freak dog bite accident. I think that's what they said in the book. And essentially he goes and finds this home and he goes to this loophole where he meets Miss Peregrine and then he meets the gang that we see throughout the rest of the novel. And I did fairly enjoy this. I think I, think I remember saying in like I think it was Hollow City or this one that this is a pretty underrated series and I what Ransom Riggs does like throughout the whole that's not a picture this is a picture what he does throughout the whole series is that he would put pictures in here and what he does I think is that he would get the pictures from some like a few people and um what's it called did he buy these Oh, they were lent from personal archives of 10 collectors who spent many years and countless hours hunting through giant bins of unsorted snapshots at flea markets, antique malls, and yard sales to find a few transcendent few rescuing images of historical significance of the arresting beauty from obscurity and most likely the Um, so yeah, like he also lists like all the people who have helped or like have found the pictures and Ransom Riggs just like contacted them, I believe, I think, I don't know. But yeah, so I rated this a 3 out of 5 stars. I think I re-rated it because just like with Cinder, I don't think I had Goodreads when I read Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, so I think I just rated it a 3 out of 5 stars. I don't know, but we're just gonna go with the rating for that. The next book I have is Hollow City, which is the second book within the Miss Peregrine's trilogy. And this essentially is, um, if I can refresh my memory, because I read this last year, last year, two years ago, I don't know. But essentially, so it picks directly, or picks up directly where it left off in the first book. And basically, Miss Peregrine has been taken away, and, um, so... They, in order for them to rescue Miss Peregrine, they have to go through the Hollow City. And the Hollow City is in, like, the best place, I think. It's kind of, like, the bad part of, like, Hogsmeade or whatever. Or, not Hogsmeade. Oh, my God. What's that town? Oh, my God. Um, I can't think of it. But, like, it's essentially that, like, that bad part of, like, Hogwarts Central. <laughs> not Hogwarts Central. Oh, my God. Like, where the Leaky Cauldron is, I'm a, such a bad person for not remembering. But essentially, like, that's where it is. And so, yeah. Um, I rated this a 3 out of 5 stars again because I felt like at this point, like, it was just, like, really slow at this point. And, but I do, like, like, if I had to pick a favorite out of the three, I would say Hollow City is my favorite one because we got introduced to more characters. We got introduced to Addison, who is probably, again, one of my other favorite characters alongside Emma. But yeah, so there's that. The next book I have, which is the conclusion to the trilogy, and that is Library of Souls by Ransom Riggs, obviously. And this is the conclusion, and this is where everything falls into place, and Jacob eventually goes home. And this probably had to be my least favorite book within the trilogy because, like, of the ending. And I explained, like, more in the review I gave, which, again, is linked down below as well. 
and again, I rated this also a 3 out of 5 stars. Seeing a trend, but that all changes between a point five in Tales of the Peculiar. And essentially this is the book that is mentioned throughout the trilogy, also known as like the last two books, that Millard reads. And what I find is really cute is that Millard gives the foreword <laughs> of this book, and I just think it's so cute. Um, that's just the paperback version, by the way, and not the hardcover, because the hardcover is like really, I, I don't think it's very pretty, so that's why I opt for the paperback edition. And I gave this a 3.5 out of 5 stars. So essentially, we have three books, I rated three stars, so that's nine, and then a plus that, plus a 3.5 is 12.5, and what I do is I take all the ratings and then I divide it by however many books we have, so in this case it's four, so it's 12.5 divided by four, and that equals a 3.1 something, I think it was like 3.175 I think, but I mean I would give it a three out of five, three out of five stars overall rating because like, I feel like it just progressively like went down over the course of like the several um what's it called like the last two books that we had about although Hollow City is my favorite it's just that like um but with like the Library of Souls I don't think like that one was my favorite in my opinion so I really didn't like it so uh, and yeah so that is my series wrap up up Okay, so this is my series wrap up for Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Briggs. Um, would I recommend this series? Yeah. Um, if you're into, it's like historical fiction. It's not sci-fi. Like, I'm trying to find words for this, like how to describe this series. I would say this is more like an adventure, like, and it also, I would say historical fiction because it does like time jump a lot of places, but yeah. Um... But do I recommend the movie? Yes, I feel like the movie's a lot better than the series, and I really hope they do make the rest of the books a series because I feel like this, like this trilogy alone, is better off as a movie versus having it as books. And now that I'm saying this, I might rewatch Tales of Peculiar. And yeah, so be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what are your honest thoughts about the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar series. And I think if I do reread it, I might reread the graphic novels that they have because I feel like that's just a better like representation of the book. So that way, like I have something to go off of. And yeah, my name is Gillian. I upload every Tuesday and a little extra video on a surprise day. And yeah, so I will see you guys next time.